in Las Vegas. All right, well, you feel like you're not seeing as many of those big monarch butterflies as you're used to seeing? Well, there's a reason for that. And a lot of their food resources are disappearing, mm -hmm. so a couple from town and country are doing something about it. Steve Harris has that story. Most people pull weeds out of their yard, but Jim and Laura Probst plant them. But not just any weed, no, they grow milkweed. Now, why, you ask, would they grow milkweed? Well, there's a good reason. It's sitting on the flower at the top left of your screen. Monarch butterflies. Jim is an obstetrician and gynecologist. Laura is a professional photographer, but they're both environmentalists. We always wonder why we weren't seeing as many insects and butterflies as we have in the past. And so I said, well, let's start working on it. And then we found the milkweed in our yard, and there was an egg in the milkweed. Now they raise monarch butterflies. They started seven years ago with five. And then now um, our most we had was 950. That guy is about, is about five, six days old. Their kitchen counter is covered in caterpillars. They feed them, clean up after them, and make their chrysalises comfortable. Say that five times fast. I built this a, a few winters ago. They also have a sort of molting motel Jim built. So this is the best <laughs> part. After their metamorphosis in the monarch maternity ward. This is when we get to let them go. They're hoping to put a bug in the ear of other people who'd like to help monarchs multiply. They say the reward is well worth it. Mentally, it gets me away from all the craziness of work and it gives me something to do that's physical. Spiritually, it's very peaceful. It also spreads word of God's love and creation and that how can something go from being a teeny teeny little caterpillar when they go into a chrysalis they just totally transform into a, a butterfly it's like wow steve harris news four